Hey folks, uh, this lesson is equilateral and isosceles triangles. I said that backwards, module 15.2. Don't forget, all your lessons can be found at mrmathblog.com. Okay, here's our question. What are the special relationships among angles and sides in an isosceles and equilateral triangle? So an isosceles triangle is a triangle that has at least two equal sides right here. Most of the time, we just deal with just the two equal sides. If it's three equal sides, that's called an equilateral triangle. We'll talk about that in just a bit. So here's an isosceles triangle right here where uh, side AB is congruent to side BC. Okay, so the congruent sides are called the legs. So AB is a leg and BC is a leg. And so where the angle that uh, is formed by this leg and this leg is called the vertex angle right here, okay? And so opposite this vertex angle is called the base. Now, the base doesn't have to be on the bottom. It could be on the sides or, you know, if I, if I drew this triangle right here, let's see if I can draw a triangle right here. Well, I don't know what color I have. Okay, so black. So if I drew this triangle right here and then... Uh, and then those are my congruent sides right there then uh, so that would be a leg and that would be a leg and then this would be the base right here okay so um, uh, the base doesn't have to be on the bottom it often is uh, represented as on the bottom so it doesn't have to be on the bottom so so this this could be the leg that could be the leg that could be the base right there this would be the vertex angle right there okay and then so um, uh, the base angles are uh, these angles that are formed by the base right there so here angles a and angle c are called the base angles if i went back to this guy right here this angle and this angle would be called the base angles right there, okay? And this would be the base. All right, so um, uh, so I, the isosceles triangle theorem just says if two sides of a triangle are congruent, then the base angles are congruent, okay? All right, so what does that mean? All right, so here we have um, uh, these two sides congruent right here, and so that means these base angles are congruent. And the theorem actually says this. If two sides are congruent in a triangle, then the angles opposite those two sides. So if I went straight across and said that angle, and straight across and said that angle, it says if two sides are congruent in a triangle, then the angles opposite those two sides are also congruent. Now I like to say this, you guys, so uh, then angles A equals angle C right there. Base angles of an isosceles triangle are congruent right there, okay? so. Here's the base angles. This is the vertex angle up here. These base angles, since it's isosceles with these markings right here, base angles of an isosceles triangle are congruent. All right, so then we have these things that are called equilateral triangles. Equilateral triangles are triangles that have all three sides congruent, not just two, but all three sides. So there's a triangle that has all three sides congruent. That's an equilateral triangle ABC, okay? An equilateral triangle is a triangle that has all three angles congruent. So here's an equiangular triangle where these three angles are congruent. Doesn't it look like these two uh, triangles right here are, are really similar? In fact, if these sides were the same, these triangles would be congruent by, by angle, side, angle. If I can show that this side equals this side right here, do you remember doing that? Okay, so uh, equal equilateral triangles are also equiangular triangles okay so this is a theorem so if, if you know all three sides are equal and this is really easy to prove you guys from the isosceles triangle theorem if these two sides are equal then these two base angles are equal right here and if these two sides are equal then these two base angles here would be equal. And so by the substitution property, all three angles would be congruent. So if it's equilateral, that picture right there, then it's equiangular, that picture right there. And then the vice versa of that says equiangular triangles are equilateral triangles. So if we have an equiangular triangle, then we also have uh, an equilateral triangle too. Okay, and then so uh, so uh, these easy proofs are found on page uh, 742 in our textbook right there, and it, it, it deals with the isosceles triangle thing. 
that I was showing you there. So let's find the indicated measures. Uh, we got three problems right here. Now this is an application problem. I took out all the wordings of this. So it says somebody is making a triangle in terms of centimeters right here. So we're going to answer this in terms of centimeters right here. So we have an equilateral triangle. So this side equals this side equals this side. I have no clue why your textbook put these angle markings on, the, on these two angles only. Um, should have put one right there also because if it's equilateral, then it's equiangular also, okay? So anyways, it's equilateral, so these two sides are equal. So I'm going to go ahead and set up uh, 6x minus 5 equals 4x plus 7. I like to have the bigger variable on the left-hand side. We could have uh, said 4x plus 7 equals 6x minus 5, but 6x is bigger than 4x, so I like to have the bigger variable over there doesn't matter you guys okay now your textbook and me and probably your math teacher would like you to state what you're doing right here so here we did plus 5 plus 5 to both sides of this equation whatever we do to the left we do to the right and so I got rid of this minus 5 by adding 5 to both sides so so um, your textbook will just write this they won't write this part right here and the crossing out the fives right there but they'd want you to know that that what you added both sides you added 5 to both sides okay now what would you do all right so 6x equals 4x plus 12 well we we subtract uh, 4x from both sides so subtraction property of equality so what did I say 4x yeah I did say 4x so let me put a 4x right there sorry about that so that we're going to subtract 4x from both sides you're going to see me do this on the next couple of slides right here 6x minus 4x is 2x and then what are you going to do right here you're going to divide both sides by 2 so 12 divided by 2 is 6 so x equals 6 now remember we're not looking for x it says up at the top right there that we're looking for uh, the length of each side okay so this side equals this side equals this side so we just got to plug in x equals 6 either right there or right there I think I plugged it in uh, next to the 6 right there okay so we're looking for the the, uh, the side lengths right there so we got to find uh, uh, the measure of each side and I plugged in x equals 6 I'm kind of stalling if you can't haven't clued in yet <laughs> sorry uh, so I did plug in uh, right here so 6 times 6 is 36 and 36 minus um, you know, that 5 right there is uh, is 31 if I'm thinking right okay as I'm typing okay so remember this is an application problem so we want to answer this in the context of the problem so I think I said it was in centimeters so this word problem in your textbook I think somebody is making a, a banner in your textbook something like that so it was uh, 31 centimeters right there okay all right so sorry I'm almost done so this is my only mistake uh, I think <laughs> anyway uh, so here's the next one right here so it says find the measure of angle T okay so here we have an isosceles triangle so since these two sides are equal then these base angles are equal so if this angles X then this angles X right there base angles of an isosceles triangle are congruent okay so we go ahead and remember triangles add up to 180 so we go ahead and add them up to 180 and then we'll combine like terms X plus X is 2x plus 3x is 5x okay so simplify or combine like terms and then divide by 5 we get X equals 36 make sure we answer this in the context of the problem so uh, we're going to plug in 36 right here so 3 times 36 is 108 degrees right there okay all right so this one says find uh, the measure of, of of length bc so if there's nothing on top this says find the measure of length segment bc okay and this was another application problem it was an extension of the prior one so these are in terms of centimeters so we're going to go ahead and solve for y and then uh, it's going to be and then we're going to plug in y either this side or this side i think i plugged it in over here anyway and then we're going to answer it in terms of centimeters okay so equal angular triangles are also equilateral so i see all these three angles are equal so that means these three sides are equal bc is down here so bc is the same as ba or ab and ac right there so i set this side equal to this side okay and then 
And then uh, notice uh, we, we got some fractions right here. Let's get rid of the fractions. We'll multiply by a common denominator. So between 10 and 5, 10 is a common denominator. So we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by 10. And then we'll use the distributive property and distribute the 10 through. Okay. So 10 times uh, this to, uh, plus 10 times this equals 10 times this minus uh, 10 times that. Okay. Okay, these tens cancel, so we get 3y plus 90 over here. 5 goes into 10 twice, so we have 2 times 4y. So that's going to get us 8y, 8y minus 10. Okay, so we just simplified right there. Okay, remember, I like to have the bigger variable on this side, so I'm going to use the symmetric property and just put them on the other side right there. Here I'm going to go ahead and add 10 to both sides. So I did plus 10, plus 10 to get 100 addition property right there and now we're going to subtract 3y subtraction property okay whoops that says substitution subtraction so subtract tr all right uh, that's my other mistake that's my only other mistake <laughs> anyway um, so uh, so uh, we uh, use the division property and divide 5 into 100 and we get y equals 20 remember y is not the answer we're looking for the length of bc so it's uh it's equal angular so that means it's also equilateral right there so since it's equilateral let me fix this little dude right here i want to keep these so i'm i look smart in my class when my students ask me stuff so anyway uh, uh so um, we're going to go ahead and set um uh, put in uh, y equals 20. I think I put in y equals 20 right there. We could have put in y equals 20 next to the 4y right there. So uh, anyway, so um, uh, 10 goes into 22 times. So 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus 9 is 15. And so I think this was uh, in centimeters. So we go ahead and say uh, that was 15 centimeters right there. All right. If you guys are in our class you're going to see that assignment right there and you're going to probably want to pause this because i showed you part of the answer to number 19 it is a proof and there you go take care